Welcome to Center Stage, I'm Mikhailo Curry. Today we begin a series of reports showcasing the hugely successful 14th annual edition of the Toronto Ukrainian Festival. Here are some of the highlights. With a three-day attendance estimated at over 500,000 people, yes, that's right, more than half a million people, this year's 14th annual edition of the Toronto Ukrainian Festival was one of the best ever. Vendors from all over Canada and the United States did a booming business and it seemed there was a greater variety of products and more unique items for sale this year. Let's take a look. And of course, who can resist our delicious Ukrainian food? One of the nicest touches was having street musicians performing every few blocks along Blur Street West, really adding to the atmosphere of the Toronto Ukrainian Festival. The festival kicked off in grand style with the Friday Night Grandstand Show. When the grandstand show finished, it was time for the giant street Zababa, starring Zirka. I've said it many times and I'll say it again, and I think you'll agree that when you have my favorite Ukrainian band in the entire universe, Zirka, on stage, you're guaranteed to have a great time. Saturday morning began bright and early with the traditional parade through Bloor West Village. Here are some of the highlights. Be 
politicians and community leaders attended the official opening ceremonies of the Toronto Ukrainian Festival. We thank all of you for coming here these 14 years, and we have the best combination of uh, song, dance, and music for you for the next few days. It'll be a unique Ukrainian experience, very different than other festivals. We have music here 24 7 for the next three days. So let's hear it for all our great performers that are going to be performing the next three days. The Prime Minister writes, I'm delighted to to extend my warmest greetings to all those attending the 2010 Toronto Ukrainian Festival. For 14 years, this celebration has grown steadily from a gathering of a few thousand at its inception to an event attracting hundreds of thousands to the warm street west village. This is a testament to the community spirit and vitality that defines Toronto's active Ukrainian community. We come together to make this festival one of the largest of its kind in Canada and a wonderful showcase for your culture and tradition. I believe that Toronto today is the most Ukrainian city in the world, probably even more Ukrainian than some other cities in Ukraine. <laughs> I'm very glad to see how many people gather together today to celebrate Ukrainian culture, to participate in Ukrainian festival, to enjoy Ukrainian music, Ukrainian dances, and of course food. And I'm very glad to welcome you to this festival. Celebrity chef and parade marshal Ken Kostik officially declared the festival open. Thank you very much, and we feel honored to uh, be the grand marshal of the Toronto Ukrainian Festival. And with that, I'm going to open it. We'll see you. Well, <laughs> It'll work, don't worry. <laughs> Coming up next week, my exclusive interview with Madheads XL, our special guest from KU. <laughs> The Toronto Ukrainian Festival is sponsored in part by Tourism Ontario. Ontario, yours to discover. <laughs>